Hey, what's going on? I want the Supreme Kami here. So we are taking on this new uh, crew multi mission over here. So these kind of crew multi mission last about um, two weeks, uh, and then every one of these new crew, crew multi mission, uh, those are all brand new. So you would be able to form up around uh, 120 horos over here. So that is pretty nice. Uh, and in addition, you will be able to get a new set of uh, achievement where you can pick up those uh, big scale authors and tools you get some more of those crew credits where you can exchange for more goodies over here so uh, let's actually gonna take a look at the ex stage over here um, this one will be tough for you guys if you guys like for example if your crew is not really that active uh, you can't really find you know like your you know like you can't really coordinate with your crew member like all right how, how are we gonna take care of this um, ex stage over here so I mean like in best case scenario, you're going to have to probably do it just by yourself. And then here is the two teams or two units that I want to run. Uh, one is going to be my melee builds over here. And then one is going to be my shop build over here. So um, this is just the, um, the unit I've been, like the team I've been, like the parts I've, I've been using throughout. Um, so this one, I have racked it up to 64% cooldown over here. So I'm still working on it. I think... Uh, around like 85 ish would be a pretty good effective range but 64 is just about right so each skill i'm going to be using is going to be the tsunami slide over here so this one is actually a welfare parts uh this one is a projectile ex skill so it does like a uh like a slide like right across so this one is pretty good uh pretty good range so uh we'll be able to take care of uh enemy quite good over here uh obviously we can't forget about the double sky a high proof uh, hybrid sky is a bomb over here this one is going to be able to give us some health restoration like that over here that 30 percent that 32 percent is going to come in clutch at times and i'm also going to raise my um melee attack of 31 and then last but not least we have the defend well my favorite over here the halibut throw over here so this one is really really good does have a level 10 as well in terms of the part over here, I do have a mix of, uh, I did not run um, like the initial skill charge over here because I don't think, I didn't have any more rooms over here. So <clears throat> uh, what I run, I do have some EX skill power boosted. Uh, I have run, uh, how many parts do I have these EX skill uh, reduction? So I have one, two, three, four, and five. So that is pretty good. Um, these two, these like the chests and the, um, Pilot, unfortunately, they are worth it parts, so uh, they're gonna cap out 15%. So um, I'm gonna have 10% less if, for example, I did have everything maxed out. So other than that, uh, pretty good over here. Um, this one over here is the GN Hen Cannon from the Austria F type. So that one I just briefly picked it up. So only a level four. Um, getting these guys to up to level 10 is gonna be it's gonna be a journey. So. Um, so whenever I do these kind of mission, you guys will kind of see me um, with a new update uh, in terms of the percentage over here. Uh, this one over here, the crossbow, uh, X1 cut cow over here, I got that up to 12 over here. Even at level 6, you were only looking at 12%. So we are still missing that 8 more percent um, as we do go up a little bit more. Uh, we will be able to hit that. Uh, same condition over here. This one, alright, this one is going to be hard to form. This one, uh, it's a unicorn phoenix over here. This one I do have a level six already, but unfortunately it's gonna be, it's still gonna be twelve percent. So uh, this team should be able to do effective, uh, pretty good over here. So uh, why not have hop into one of those crew multi, multi mission and see how we can perform. All right, so we are in over here. So this is a rather big desert map over here. So we're gonna have to be doing a lot of running over here. I'm gonna wait actually. Gonna do one of these. Gonna do one of these over here, nice. Uh, good thing Mar um, like this uh, cooldown is really, really, I would say high enough for uh, after I use every one of the EX2, I will be able to use another one simultaneously, so that is pretty good. Let's test out a range over here, how, how far can we do? That's pretty good. What about this one? <laughs> that is excellent. Um, Halibut throw does have a pretty good range, but uh, I like the tsunami slide a little bit more better. Because it does cover a a wide whip over here, as you can see it's a sample. So in theory, this can act as like a good AOE attack as well. So what we are gonna do in this wave over here, you're gonna lure everyone together. And then, ooh, I got hit. I got hit. No. Are right, we gonna do one of these over here? So this one does have a pretty 
long range, so uh, anyone within that proximity will get hit. Alright. I almost got that one as well. Alright. So we're gonna have to do a lot of back and forth running over here. So I do have myself a full set uh, SD, SD unit over here. We got that uh, vibrant green head. And then as for the shoulder, we got some uh, blue and red. So pretty good mixture of colors. So, so we can cover, yep. We got, I think we got both of them, right? All right, let's do one of these, right? Uh, I would say melee build is gonna take a little bit more longer. Uh, I tried to shop through already because I was using all full magazine. I think it was a lot more easier to uh, just manage. Ooh, I almost got, I almost got stunned over there. Oh boy, that almost got me good. All right. So if you guys have noticed, all these um, units over here are um, IBO units. So, but we, we don't really see like uh, any Barbados. So, so this one is the main boss is the Kamar's Rodon over here. So we don't, yeah, we don't see any protagonist, you know, over here. These are just all grunts from the Galahorn, I believe. Yeah, this is all, all of those are from the Galahorn. Obviously, we got the big boss over here, and we're done. Yeah, I wish that it was, yeah, it's quite easy over here. Quite easy. All right, and then up next, we will be testing out our shot units over here. So here's how it looks like. I got the Penelope as the uh, backpack and the chest. Uh, they don't really serve as war purpose. Uh, other than more cosmetic-ish for the stylish thing over here. Uh, in terms of the EX I use over here, I use a homing missile and machine gun over here. So this one, you can say it's a sem semi um, AOE. So depending on how like how you attack it, you can hit multiple enemy or you can only hit one. This really depends on the angle. But this room is really, really good option for like, um, I would say 3v3 arena. This one is a lot of people that uses it. Uh, a newer version that people use now is going to be the H14 uh, Granza. Uh, but getting that guy to level 10 is going to take some more time. Uh, it just really depends on like what you guys have invested in. Uh, and then we have the GM Vulcan over here. This is coming out from the Transient Gundam Arm over here. So this one is all traded. So we are doing a magazine over here. So magazine in any shop build is going to be perfect if, when you are trying to take on multiple enemies. So this one is going to be really good. Um, first time users is zero second. Uh, the only main thing we need to really focus on is that 60 second cooldown. Uh, but with my shop build over here, uh, for my shop build, I am losing out 10% of general CD reduction because like I have to run, uh, I can't really run like a, a, um, lower stat, um, range weapon, right? So we gotta, we're gonna be doing this over here. And then the last one we have, this is the beam gun from, uh, this is one this one is from the build strike uh build strike gundam uh unfortunately uh when that time we had a time where we had to fragment take it where we can exchange for it but unfortunately i forgot to exchange it so i have 20 of those uh, fragment take it just sitting there so that's kind of my bad um this one could be a level three easily this one is really really good i think a lot of people do have this one to max out just because it's just that good right so we're gonna hop in with this setup over here uh my shot attack is pretty pretty high um, should be able to do some uh, major damage over here. Um, so one quick quantum spin over here. Yeah, this look a little awkward over here. So uh, let's do hop into our final multi mission over here. All right, so we are in over here. So let's start out by using some of these um, magazine over here, mag magazine round. All right, so I would say I'm taking down um, this set of enemy enemy a lot more smoother than the melee build. Because I'm just kind of like attacking them like without, without like for the melee build. I'm kind of waiting uh, for the other EX to kind of reload. So that with this one, I would say it's just a little bit more faster. Why are we not doing some bad melee attack as well? Surprisingly. Alright, let's do one of these. Okay. Alright. Let's do over here. Okay. So I should be 10% less in terms of like crew down because I am not running a uh, because I couldn't run that GM missile launcher so that's gonna be just 10% less overall shouldn't be too bad in a way let's do this okay yeah as you can see uh, like the enemy are kind of like swallowing in and out a lot more I would say I have to be a little more a little bit more cautious because I don't have any heals over here. 
uh, like my melee bow, so that's gonna be a big problem. Alright, so we are at the final phase, Hope so hopefully I can kind of work things a little bit more better this time around. Alright, let's see. Should I activate my job gauge, but I didn't. Okay. Got a back dash here in it. Ooh. Okay. Gonna do one of these. Ooh. I should be able to make it now. Alright, we, we are safe. Alright, don't hit me anymore. Alright, we are, we are good. We are clear. So, here's the shop build version of it. Alright, so with that being said, uh, here's the two version of my build over here. So, you can't really say which one is more reliable in a way. Um, obviously, like the melee one is a lot more better because I have some hues. Uh, so, in case anything does happen, I can get some help back. But this version of it, uh, I'm quite relying on my 2EX skill, which is not too good. I'm not that saying uh, I don't I'm not relying it more on the shop build as well but for the shop build I do have a little bit more magazines so I have more um, wiggle room about, around it but it just really depends on what you guys have and then uh, if, if possible just trying to run this uh, just you know coordinate with, uh, your crew member and trying to get these done because um, like I said uh, doing this crew, crew uh, mission you're getting those crew points as well so it's always best to you know do it with more people uh, have at least one or two so with that being said, hopefully this helped you guys in trying to determine what kind of builds and like what kind of parts um, to use for this crew mission. Now with that being said, I will catch you guys on the next one.